Hello there, and welcome to Level Update. Lake Mead, one of the most closely watched reservoirs in the United States, is showing another round of positive news this week. As of Tuesday, October 7, 2025, the water level at the Hoover Dam gauge stands at 1,058.06 feet above mean sea level. That's a steady and encouraging figure, especially considering where the lake was just a couple of years ago. It's still about 171 feet below full pool, but for the second half of 2025, the lake has managed to hold its ground and even gain elevation during a period when, historically, the trend was downward. This marks a continued shift toward stabilization, and the data now suggests that Lake Mead is gradually building resilience after years of decline. When we look at the most recent trend, from late September through early October, we can clearly see a gradual but consistent climb. The level has increased from roughly 1,056.6 feet in late September to the current 1,058.06 feet in early October. This means the lake gained about a foot and a half in just under two weeks, which is no small feat given the massive surface area of Lake Mead. Every inch of rise represents millions of gallons of additional stored water. This sustained climb is a sign of both controlled water releases from upstream and moderated demand downstream. Unlike previous years, when late summer typically brought more dramatic declines, this year's data reflects a more balanced hydrologic system. To put this into perspective, we can look back at the same date in earlier years. In October 2023, Lake Mead was sitting around 1,045 feet, one of the lowest October readings in modern times. The reservoir was struggling to recover from years of severe drought and low inflows. The difference between then and now, roughly 13 feet of gain, represents a huge improvement in both water supply and management outcomes. Even compared to 2024, when the level hovered near 1,060 feet in early October, but then dropped significantly through winter, 2025 is holding much steadier. The slope of this year's curve is flatter, showing less volatility and greater control in reservoir operations. The 2025 chart also tells a compelling story when compared to the patterns from 2023 and 2024. The magenta line representing 2023 shows a slow rise through spring followed by stagnation in summer, barely reaching 1,055 feet. The green line for 2024 reached a high of around 1,075 feet early in the year, but then declined sharply through midsummer as demand increased and releases accelerated. This year's blue line, however, shows a smoother and more sustained pattern. It started the year near 1,065 feet, experienced a moderate seasonal dip, and then leveled out through late summer with a gentle rise through September into October. This kind of steadiness hasn't been seen in several years, suggesting that new water agreements and operational adjustments at Hoover and Glen Canyon dams are starting to show measurable results. What's particularly encouraging is that this increase is occurring without major storm events or exceptional runoff. Instead, the growth appears to come from consistent management and efficient use of the water that's already available. That's an important shift. The system is relying less on unpredictable natural boosts and more on sustainable planning. Careful timing of upstream releases from Lake Powell, improved conservation across cities and states, and a more measured allocation system among the Colorado River Basin states. The coordination between agencies is clearly reflected in the data. The reservoir's level is not swinging wildly anymore, but instead showing the kind of steady behavior that points to long-term stability. Comparing the current situation with the difficult conditions seen in 2022 and 2023 helps underline how significant this progress is. In those years, projections warned that Lake Mead could drop below 1,040 feet, the level associated with deep shortages and power generation risks at Hoover Dam. But now, two years later, the system has rebounded above 1,058 feet, 
placing it safely out of the critical zone. While that's still far below historical norms, the important takeaway is that the trend has reversed. The lowest points appear to be behind us for now. The slow and steady climb through 2025 is proof that even small gains, maintained consistently, can make a large difference for the entire Southwest water system. It's also worth noting how the 2025 pattern compares to the pre-drought years before 2020. Back then, the reservoir often fluctuated dramatically between spring inflows and summer outflows. What we're seeing now is a narrower range, less extreme ups and downs, which indicates better overall control. In the chart, this can be seen by the relatively smooth blue band that lacks the sharp peaks and troughs of earlier years. This more controlled pattern means the system is behaving predictably, a good sign for hydropower operations and downstream users alike. As we enter the final quarter of 2025, the water level stability becomes even more meaningful. Historically, October is a transitional month, a time when inflows slow down, but demand for irrigation and cooling also decreases. Holding the line at 1,058 feet means that the system is balanced heading into the cooler months, and that could allow for even more storage gains if early winter inflows are favorable. This positions Lake Mead to potentially start 2026 at one of its best levels in several years. The improvement also provides breathing room for long-term planning. Maintaining this level reduces the strain on Hoover Dam's power generation operations and ensures that the reservoir can continue to meet water demands for millions of people in Nevada, Arizona, and California. It also helps stabilize conditions for recreation and tourism around the lake, where marina operations and boat ramps have struggled during the years of lower water. Every foot of increase brings some of these facilities closer to more reliable conditions. While challenges remain and full recovery to the 1,200-foot range is still a long way off, the data from October 2025 shows clear progress. The rise over the past few weeks is part of a much larger story of adaptation, cooperation, and cautious optimism. After years of headlines focused on historic lows and emergency shortages, the current upward trend offers a welcome change of tone. It demonstrates that through deliberate management, technology, and collaboration, the system can slowly rebuild its strength. So, as of this week, Lake Mead is holding firm at 1,058.06 feet, maintaining a small but steady rise through early October. Compared to where we were just two years ago, that's a remarkable recovery. The signs are pointing in the right direction. Stability, gradual improvement, and better coordination across the entire Colorado River Basin. If this trend continues through winter, 2026 could begin with one of the strongest water positions we've seen in years. Lake Mead's resilience reminds us that even after long periods of decline, nature and smart management can still work together to turn the tide. Stay tuned for more updates, because the water story of the Southwest is far from over, and right now, it's moving in the right direction.